George Zoli, CEO of the publicly traded private prison corporation GeoGroup. In 2017, he took home $9.6 million in compensation, almost twice as much as the year before. Why the big raise? The Trump administration. The day after Donald Trump was elected president, Geo Group stock skyrocketed 21%. CoreCivic, formerly known as Corrections Corporation of America, or CCA, was the highest gainer on the New York Stock Exchange. Investors saw gold in Trump's dog whistles and tough on crime rhetoric. Both Geo Group and CoreCivic operate jails, prisons, and detention centers across the country. And more people behind bars means more profit, which means more money for Zoli, CoreCivic CEO Damon Hinninger, who made $2.2 million in 2017. Trump's immigration crackdown in particular has been big business for both corporations. Geo Group and CoreCivic together detain over two-thirds of undocumented immigrants held by Immigration and Customs Enforcement, also known as ICE. They operate ICE's two family detention centers and are primed to win contracts to build new facilities if Trump's zero-tolerance policy is allowed to continue. In 2017, ICE hired Geo Group to build and operate a new 1,000-bed adult detention center in Texas, which is expected to be up and running later this year. As part of the deal, Geo Group loaned money to ICE to finance the construction, which reveals another reason why Zoli and Hinninger make as much money as they do. Geo Group and CoreCivic are essentially real estate companies. In 2013, both corporations restructured as real estate investment trusts, also known as REITs, which allows them to avoid corporate-level taxation. Last year, Geo Group avoided almost $44 million in taxes. Those tax savings are helping Zoli pay off the mortgage on his nine-bedroom Boca Raton mansion. But so is Geo Group's alleged practice of forcing undocumented immigrants into volunteering in their detention centers. Former detainees across the country are suing the corporation for threatening solitary confinement when they refuse to cook, clean, or perform other duties for $1 or even less a day. This helps make Zoli richer by saving Geo Group untold amounts of money on labor costs. It also gives both corporations more money for campaign contributions and lobbying. Both gave $250,000 to Trump's inauguration fund. Geo Group and CoreCivic also profit by cutting corners. Both have histories of wrongful death lawsuits, riots, deaths, and increased violence in their facilities. There are countless examples of human rights abuses in private prisons, but our federal district judge summed it up in a written decision about a Geo Group juvenile detention center in Mississippi. He said, the soon-to-be-closed facility was a picture of such horror as should be unrealized anywhere in the civilized world, in a cesspool of unconstitutional and inhuman acts. So what do you think? Should George Zoli and Damon Hinninger be allowed to profit off criminalizing immigrants and dodging taxes while doing it?